Now that I escaped that 2D trap that Jessica laid out for me, I'm able to give you a recap of the Angular V21 release. Mark here from the Angular team, let's get started. In the Angular V21, we released quite a few AI goodies. First, we have the new Angular MCP server, which is stable as of Angular V21. It comes with built-in tools that LLMs can use to do things like load Angular best practices into context, search the Angular docs, and find structured examples. Together, these tools help LLMs write high quality, modern Angular code, even for features like the new signal forms in Angular ARIA packages. We've added two new tools to the Angular MCP server, an experimental tool to modernize your code base and a stable tool to migrate your app to Zoneless. And here's something really cool. The MCP server ships with an AI powered Angular tutor that dynamically tailors lessons to your experience level, provides open-ended exercises that emphasize learning, answer questions, and even checks your work. Launch the AI tutor from the MCP server or from an open source GitHub repository. To get started with the Angular MCP server, run ng-mcp. You know, speaking of this MCP server, there's a new MCP host that you can use. We just released the official Angular extension for the Gemini CLI. It is a pre-packaged plugin that contains context files and MCP tools. This makes it using these resources with the Gemini CLI even easier right out of the gate. Install the extension today and let us know what other features you'd like us to add. Head over to GeminiCLI.com to get started. All right, let's chat about a way that you can measure the performance of and evaluate the quality of generated code with a new tool from the Angular team. Meet the Web Code Gen Scorer. That's right, the Web Code Gen Scorer evaluates and scores the quality of AI generated web code. So what does this mean for you and your teams? Well, you can use this tool to make evidence-based decisions, compare generated code quality across models, and monitor changes over time as models and agents evolve. This tool isn't even limited to Angular. You can even use it to evaluate code generated by a variety of frameworks and models. I know, very, very cool. And finally, the Angular team has added valuable resources to the AI portal over at angular.dev forward slash AI, such as a new design patterns guide. There, you can find recipes for infusing generated content into your apps. All right, let's switch gears to chat about a long awaited feature, Signal Forms. Now, Signal Forms are built on the idea of creating a reactive, composable, and a declarative form solution. Instead of describing all the APIs to you, I'm gonna walk you through an example. A signal form starts with a signal containing your data model. So let's model a form that accepts name, email, an opt-out checkbox, and a rating. Now to make a form out of this signal, we have to pass it to the form function. The form preserves the shape of your data and enhances it with superpowers. For example, now you can reactively read and set values on the form and its subfields. You can also get the state like valid or disabled by calling appropriate signals on the fields. The form is all set up, so let's add some validation. To configure validation, pass a second parameter to the form creation function. Now, path mirrors the shape of your form but has no access to state or values. You can use it to apply rules to your field. Let's use built-in validators to make sure that the name is required and the email is correct. Signal forms also support custom validators. Let's check out how to use those. Let's make sure that the rating property is always five stars by using a validation rule. If the rating is too low, let's return an error, otherwise return undefined. Notice it's not null, and we're sure that developers will be happy about this. We have the form logic configured in the component class, so let's update the component template. Let's bind each field to the appropriate input using the new field directive. Our star rating will be a custom component, but we can still use the same field directive to bind a field to a custom component. Actually, let's show the creation of that custom component. Inside the rating component, we implement the form UI control interface, and wait a minute, there's no more control value accessor. Instead, set the appropriate inputs and models, and the field directive will bind them all to the appropriate field state. We're launching signal forms as experimental in Angular v21, so you can try this out right now.
And if you want to give Signal Forms a test drive, check out angular.dev forward slash signal dash forms for access to an example in the interactive playground. Okay. Last on my list, but not the final feature that we've released is Angular Aria. We built Angular material to provide developers with a set of components with great styles and functionality. But we noticed that there was still the opportunity to serve developers that wanted to bring their own custom styles. And you know, customizing Angular material was quite a challenge at times. So we decided to take a different approach. We've created a set of headless components that deliver the accessibility and developers bring the styles. Angular Aria was created to handle common and complex accessibility patterns so that developers can focus on crafting their own unique look. When we say headless, we mean that the library ships with no styles out of the box. These components are ready for you to apply your own look and feel. We also want it to be straightforward to incorporate into your applications. That's why we've included a showcase of unique skins that you can copy and paste into your code to try out. Let's take a look at how to get started. From the command line, type npm i at angular forward slash aria. You'll install the necessary pieces to get started. Once you have the package installed, you can head to the Angular Aria documentation and copy the code for the component that fits your heart's desire. For example, you can select the Angular Aria toolbar and paste the code into your project. From there, you have the power to customize the styles and add your required functionality to build a truly personalized experience for your users. Now, we're launching with a total of eight accessibility patterns that encompass 13 components. Now, these eight were chosen because they provide complex patterns that meet developer needs. Most notably, we are shipping with patterns like grid, tree, menu, and autocomplete. We are so excited to be providing this new resource to the Angular community. Update to the latest version of Angular today to get started. All right, friends, that's the end of this video, but not the end of the updates. Be sure to check out the change log, the official blog, and stay tuned on the Angular YouTube channel for even more Angular V21 goodies. That's it for me. Update to the latest version of Angular and get out there and create apps your users will love.